Hey guys, welcome back to science. I hope you're excited for this coming year. I know I am. I hope you're ready to blast off into a new school year and boldly go where no students have gone before. Well, kind of, not really, but it'll be different anyway. So uh, I wanted to let you know that we will be doing labs. They're just gonna look different, but I still firmly believe in the necessity of doing hands-on lab work and doing observations. So we will be doing it. Um, my sixth graders from last year, so our new seventh graders and my up and coming sixth graders, don't you worry, we haven't for forgot about our frog dissection. We'll still get to these guys. I don't wanna leave you hanging on that. Um, let's see. We also, as far as talking about labs, we've got gizmos this year. So I worked a little bit, I think, with sixth and seventh last year uh, with gizmos. Um, and so we have these online labs that we can do. We can use them for our virtual students. If you're joining us from home, we can do them in class. Or if we all have to go back to our houses again this year, we will still be able to do labs. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. This year, safety is... Number one concern. It's always a number one concern, but more so this year than any other year. So a couple of things that are new this year. One, you'll be staying with your homerooms all day long, but you'll be moving from class to class. The alternative to that was that you stay in your homeroom and you stay physically in your homeroom all day long and the teachers are the ones who get to move around. We figured you'd all prefer to be able to move as long as nobody screws that up. So that's the plan. You'll be staying with the same group of kids, but you'll be moving from teacher to teacher. Um, while we're talking about safety, we've got um, some new practices that we'll be doing. We will be sanitizing desks before the, or at the start of every class. You will be encouraged to use hand sanitizer coming and going uh, out of class. Or, um, and then we will be um, washing hands before lunch and after we come in from recess. We also have new cubicles, little plexiglass um, divisions, partitions for my desk. It's nearly impossible to reconfigure this room, so this allows us to um, have some distance and um, still be in this classroom. Another thing that will be of utmost importance is your mask. You'll be wearing your mask as soon as you enter the building. Coming in through the doors, you're required to wear a mask. So that means in the halls, going to the bathroom, in your classes, you'll be wearing a mask. Okay, the only time we'll take it off is for eating in the cafeteria, and that's not until you're seated in the cafeteria. Um, if we can maintain social distance, so six feet or greater, then uh, on the playground, then you can take your mask off. But if you're playing sports, or you're playing on playground equipment, the masks will remain on. Um, as far as lab safety, safety glasses, you know, we use them. Uh, I have class sets of safety glasses, but this year, if you'd be more comfortable having your own set of safety glasses, you're welcome to purchase them and bring them in in a labeled Ziploc bag and I'll store them in class for you. So you don't have to worry about hauling them in your backpack. Safety glasses like these are sufficient you don't need to go with the whole chemical splash goggles, okay? We're not to that level of science. We'll save that for high school and college. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, let's see. We also have some new technology this year. Our virtual students will be joining us through the use of our OWL cams. These cams are really cool. Um, our virtual students will follow their normal class schedule, but they'll be doing it from home. So you'll log into Google Classroom, and you'll see all your classes, and you follow your schedule throughout the day in Google Classroom. And you will join us through Google Meet, which allows us to live stream uh, the class. What you'll see at home, virtual students, is actually a split screen effect. You'll see at the top a panorama of the classroom because the owls can take three images at the same time. So they see the whole class. They will also focus on the board. And if I get up and I'm walking around, they will track me as I'm talking. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, 
I'm also working with a publisher of our textbook to get us an online, an e-copy of our textbook. So you don't have to haul your book home. You'll have one that's on your, um, that you can access through your Chromebooks. Um, let's see, our new school-wide tech is for the parents. Parents, make sure that you log in to Pick My Kid. Put that app on your phone. That's how we'll be doing dismissal this year. Dismissal will be out through the Walsh Hall doors, just like drop-off is in the morning. So for teachers in the classroom, this tells our car riders when their parents are here to pick them up. We will have displayed up on the board a giant departure screen, kind of like at an airport, and it will have your family name come up as you come into line. Okay. If you don't have the app, we don't know you're here, and that becomes a problem. If grandparents are picking you up, have them put the app on the phone, okay? Um, even if your child is normally a bus rider or a walker, I would highly recommend still loading the app. That way you've got it if you ever need it. And there are other functionalities that Mr. Bogle is looking at unlocking in the future. Let's see, um, as a reminder, in the junior high, we use option C as our grade book. We can post uh, reminders about missing assignments in the grade book. And then in our classes, we use it for our lunch count and our attendance. If you want to know what your child's learning about in class and you want to keep tabs on assignments or see directions or things like that, or look for upcoming tests or projects, you need to log in to your student's Google Classroom. Now, unlike option C, where parental, or parents have their own parental password and username, option C just uses your student's normal school login. So it's the same password and username that they've used for IXL for many, many years for logging into their Chromebooks. It's all one username and password, so it's the same thing. If you or your students have questions, email me. I'll answer them in a timely fashion. I'm happy to help. If we need to set up extra time before school or after school, I'm willing to do that. And last, I'm super excited to start this school year. And I hope you are too. And I hope you come with a positive attitude and you're ready to really enjoy um, this year.